Hi, I'm Aina, and today we are going to learn what artwork I usually do and what is art for me. As a person and as an artist, while well, we are doing some cubism artwork. So let's start. So why did I go into art? Ever since I was little, I have always been a curious child. I always wanted that when I was exploring something, I am free to do what I wanted to do. And maybe that is why art is something that has always been a part of me. It made me do whatever things that I wanted it to without following any conventional shape and being limited by constraints of what I should be doing. It can mean so many things to someone, almost as if everyone were to have their own connotative meaning for it. And that is what makes it so different from other fields of skills and learnings that we have. It could be seen in different ways, done in different ways, felt in different ways, but it also can be admired and valued in different ways. Art in general is just so vague that it can basically mean anything and be anything that we wanted it to be. Maybe that is why in art, instead of focusing on specific and perfecting limited types of crafts, I wanted to double and experience everything that is available. Next, what are the arts that I do? The earliest art that I had done is the most accessible one, drawing. One just need a pencil and a paper to unleash one's imaginations. I could draw at home, in the classroom, in the canteen, and anywhere that I wanted to be. Even until now, drawing is the kind of art that I always used. Sometimes I even dislike using colors because I often use pencils or pens on shadings and depths that it just made me doesn't want to destroy this artwork that I created in black and white. But that is just when I was making an art that needed many details or portraits and faces. When I make landscape or abstract arts, I usually use colors. When I was in elementary, I used crayons because that is the only thing that I knew that time. But in high school, I changed the pastel colors since I fell in love in shadings and the clean mergings of colors that pastel can do. Using watercolor and poster paints is not something that I newly discovered, but is something that I newly tried in senior high. Because before, I have this prejudice for watercolors and poster paints. My thinking that time is that I can't make a beautiful artwork with it since it has water. But I was wrong, and I find out how amazing it is to use, especially the poster colors. It just produced this beautiful texture that you can't normally see on pastel and crayons, making you have more feel on what is artwork all about. When it is also comes to painting, I also use different canvases. It can be as small as a notepad and as big as the wall of a bedroom. One of the things that I'm most proud of is the paintings on the walls that I have done. It made the room so much brighter and wider because of it. Some designs are simple as with horizontal lines and tapes. While well, some had taken me five days to finish, such as the multicolored Tetris like blocks. Being a person who doesn't want to waste some space, I wanted my artworks to be not only aesthetically beautiful, but also useful at the same time. That is why when I decided that I wanted to paint a tree inside our bedroom, I wanted it to be as useful as possible. I made it leafless so that on the sections where there should have been leaves, 
my siblings and I could put all our important tasks that we have finished and would act as our mark that shows how much we have accomplished. Aside also from drawing and painting, I also double in photography. It is a craze that I really wanted to do before. That is why I tried taking photos and been one of the Trinity Observer. I also tried being a camera woman and directing so that I could explore and experience everything that I could do with a camera. Another field of art also that I enjoyed doing, especially during this time where we are usually at home, is playing ukulele. It puts me in a relaxed mode if I am stressed and made me jolly and happy if I was sad. So when do I usually do art? More than times, I just do art for no reason. I could paint and draw without thinking what it would look like in the end. I just follow what I think in that moment and what I want to express. I could suddenly pick my ukulele, play some music, and explore some tunes just because I saw it lying there. I could take a picture of my family just because I wanted to engrave it in a photograph and be forever remembered. Some of my reason can be as whimsical as just because it is boring, and some can be as agonizing and painful because I wanted to express myself. What type of movement is my art? When I think of what type of movement that I've always been using and always been fascinated, I can only think of one thing, cubism. What I like in a cubist artwork is that objects are being analyzed, broken up, and reassembled in an abstracted form. Instead of depicting objects from a single viewpoint, I can depict it from a multitude of viewpoints to represent it in a greater context, making it look like a three dimensions on a flat canvas. It just made me so free in using it and allow me to explore other perspectives on how can I look at the world and make it into something that I own by breaking up my subject into many different shapes and then repaint it from different angles. It changes what it usually look like into something that is uniquely made by me. That is why I like cubism the most. Now for the last question, what is art? For me, art is about one person's expectation of and their use of their own freedom to act. It makes a statement that one person can change the world even if the world exists on a tiny piece of paper 5 by 7 inches. It can crack open cemented opinions and it challenges the given. It opens up horizons beyond those which are familiar to us and it challenges a standardized or problematic views of the world. It reaches further than the accepted and the unknown and beyond the inevitability that we have been told we cannot escape. And that is why I think art is so fascinating, special, magical, beautiful, educational, historical, and abstract at times. All the words mentioned describe what art is. It's whatever I wanted it to be. And that's it. I hope you learned something about me and the arts that I usually do. As a finale, here is the finished artwork for today. It's called The Victim, a cubism artwork in color pencil. I hope you enjoy and thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye.